Well, it's official. 21st of May is Judgment Day, our federal election. And my one message is do not let the perfect become the enemy of the good. We've got to get out there and we've got to vote, not because voting is going to fix everything, but because voting could fix some things that really are broken in this country. Even now in Queensland and South Australia, some mandates have been dropped, major mandates. So school teachers, police officers, transportation workers are able to go back to work. That has changed thousands of people's lives. Elections make a difference. Now, some people say well, the mandates are state issues. This is a federal election. There's really no connection between them. That's not true. Federal MPs, federal opposition leaders and prime ministers talk to state premiers and tell them to make public policy and laws that will make that party more popular leading up to a federal election. There is a connection between the two. Now, some say oh, ending the mandates isn't going to fix the whole problem. The problem is that our governments are corrupt from root to branch. Well, let me tell you, um, that is making the perfect the enemy of the good. Never in human history has there been a completely uncorrupt government and there never will be. And when we start aspiring for goals that cannot be reached, that's when we become demoralized and inactive. And if politicians can't get you to support them, the next best thing is for you to be demoralized so you don't bother voting against them. I mean, to say there's no point fixing the mandates because it doesn't uh, completely fix the government is like saying there's no point fixing the brakes of a car because that doesn't fix the whole car. Or there's no point renovating the kitchen because the rest of the house isn't renovated. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, especially in politics. Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. The quest for perfection in politics only leads to demoralization. On the 21st of May, we've got to get out there and we've got to vote for those freedom parties and independents who have been strong throughout all of this. And leading up to that, we've got a letterbox drop for them. We've got to share their social media and MPs who watch that uh, will get scared and in an effort to claw back more of their uh, historical voters, they will drop even more mandates. 21st of May, Judgment Day, we've got to get out there and vote.